Briefing. In a sensational backflip, tennis star Novak Djokovic's visa has been cancelled, meaning he won't be granted entry to compete in the Australian Open. The Serbian was detained by border force at Melbourne Airport overnight. It's understood his lawyers are now in the process of challenging the decision. Speaking with Seven, Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt says Novak failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet entry requirements. Yes, it's tough. But it's fair and it's equitable and it's one rule for all under this Australian government. The issue has become a diplomatic affair with Serbia's president vowing to use all legal avenues available to help Novak fight for entry. To the latest on COVID now and it's hoped testing site queues across the country will be a lot shorter today following National Cabinet's decision to remove the requirement for people who test positive on a rapid test to also confirm it with a PCR. Cases in New South Wales have lowered slightly on yesterday with just under 35,000 new infections and six deaths. Victoria this outbreak has taken another big jump, nudging 22,006 deaths. Elective surgery is being scaled back in the state to ease pressure on the health system, while Tasmania has added 751 cases. Also today, Air New Zealand's replaced Qantas as being the world's safest airline, according to the website airlinesratings.com. And another big lotto jackpot up for grabs tonight, with Powerball surging to $60 million. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Cloud. A unique music event with no cues or last minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. Day two of the fourth test is underway at the SCG and it's been a strong first hour for the Aussies. A short time ago they were on three for 148. Ash Barty returns to the court at the Adelaide International for doubles quarter final action. She's teamed up with fellow Aussie Storm Sanders. Last night the world number one rallied from a set down to beat US sensation Coco Goff for 6 7 5 6 1. And the NBL is dealing with COVID disruptions. Tomorrow's game between the Adelaide 36ers and the Perth Wildcats has been postponed to next Wednesday. <laughs> Weather partly cloudy skies about today, a top of 36 similar conditions on the cards tomorrow and a shower or two forecast on Saturday. Our listener app is the new home of your local news. Join to listen live or on demand now. <laughs>